We will sing our first song, God is Worthy. The letter of the name of the Lord, the song of the Lord. ขอบพระคุณพระองค์ที่ในเช้าวันนี้เราสามารถมาพวงตัวกันเพื่อประกาศความสมควรของพระองค์ที่จะรับการนมัสการการรับใช้และการสรรเสริญการยกย่องให้
เมื่อวันที่สิบสองสิงหาคมนะครับเป็นวันครบรอบคล้ายวันประสูติขององค์สมเด็จพระนางเจ้าสิริกิติ์พระบรมราชินีนาถเราจึงอยากจะให้เก
พระบรมราชินีนาถพระบรมราชชลนีพันปีหลวงชีคายุกาโหตุมหาราชินี12สิงหาคมพุทธศักราช2565พระคู่บุญบารมีสีสยามดำเนินตามบาทวิถีสีกระสัดทรงดำริโครงการงานเร่งรัดพระองค์ช่วยพัฒนาประชาชนพระเจ้าอยู่หัวนั้นท่านเป็นป่าฉันจะเป็นน้ำรักษาป่าทุกแห่งหนพระดำรัสกระสัตรีสีมงคลดำเนินบนเส้นทางเพื่อสร้างไทยวันคล้ายวันพระราชสมภพขอนอบน้อมรัตราชพร้อมศรัทธามหาสมัยต่างร่วมแรงร่วมหวังกำลังใจถวายพระพรชัยขอพระองค์ทรงพระเจริญด้วยกล้าวด้วยกระหม่อมขอเดชะข้าพระพุทธเจ้าคณะครูอาจารย์สิทธยาพิบาลคริสตจักรแบปติสบางใหญ่ hey, please be seated and since this is a celebration of Thai Mother's Day uh, last I think May we already had uh, given gifts and prayed for our Mother's Day แกมันยังตกลงสำหรับยังคัลเลนดาร์ Uh, but this morning we still want to honor our Thai mother, and she is. She, we have only one, so we'll call on, on her. Nevertheless, we. Shall we take a tamu lap? Kaya siya malanik na na yung sumu. Pero pagmu yung ataya pa tara ngan na. Nung nayo kapa ng mae ang chat we na kap lao yung sa hay kiel. Mae ng lao ni board la. Mga ro. Ti board Philippines ro sa long one mae. Nana chat lao day hay pa lao mga dyan. พฤกษภาชนะวันนี้เราจะให้แม่คนไทยคนเดียวเพราะเราก็มีแม่คนไทยคนเดียวฉะนั้นขอเรียกพี่นัทนะครับขึ้นมาข้างหน้าแล้วก็ขอเรียกน้องวิวเอาดอกไม้ให้แม่ด้วยถักกลับได้ยังไงให้แม่แวยสวยครับโอเคอยู่อยู่ข้างหน้าไว้เดี๋ยวจะอธิษฐาน Uh, I will also call the other mothers to stand. If you have a child or if you're a mother, uh, can you please stand and we also pray for you. At least twice a year, come to the house. Okay, let's ask the Lord. 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 ด้วยมีองค์สมเด็จพระบรมราชินีนาถเป็นแม่ของประเทศของเราขอบคุณพระองค์ที่พระองค์ได้ประทานประเทศนี้ด้วยผู้นำมีกษัตริย์เป็นประมุขและมีพระราชินีนาถที่คอยสนับสนุนคอยช่วยเหลือและอยู่เคียงข้างพระองค์ท่านมาตลอดหลายปีและเรามีโอกาสในเช้าวันนี้เพื่ออธิษฐานเพื่อพระองค์ท่านขอพระองค์ทรงเสริมกําลังพระองค์ท่านด้วยการสถิตอยู่ของพระองค์ประทานเรี่ยวแรงและในเวลาที่พระองค์จะประทานให้พระองค์ท่านที่มีอยู่เหลือขอพระองค์ทรงเป็นเสาหลักของประเทศชาตินี้เป็นแบบอย่างของแม่ที่ดีให้กับแม่ทุกๆคนและสำหรับเช้าวันนี้เราขออธิษฐานเผื่อในหลวงแล้วก็องค์พระบรมรักพระบรมรวงศานุวงศ์ทุกพระองค์ท่านที่พระองค์จะช่วยเหลือพวกพระองค์ด้วยการทำงานของพระองค์ในจิตใจของพวกเขาเพื่อพวกเขาจะเป็นผู้นำประเทศชาติของเราเป็นแบบอย่างที่ดีให้กับเราและคอยประทานทิศทางที่ดีให้กับประเทศชาตินี้ต่อต่อไปขอบคุณด้วยสําหรับเช้าวันนี้ที่เรามีโอกาสที่จะอธิษฐานเพื่อแม่ของเราในเคสจักรกับพี่นัทและก็แม่ทุกๆคนคอยพระองค์ทรงประทานสติปัญญากําลังใจกําลังกายความรักในจิตใจความอดทน
ในการใช้ชีวิตนี้เพื่อเป็นเสาหลักของครอบครัวของเราเป็นหัวเรี่ยวหัวแรงเป็นทิศทางของลูกๆหลานๆแล้วก็ครอบครัวพระเจ้ารู้กับความดิ้นรนกับปัญหาภาระหนักในใจิตใจที่แม่แต่ละคนนั้นต้องแบกแต่ขอให้พระองค์เป็นพระเจ้าในชีวิตของพวกเขาที่คอยเสริมกำลังของเขาในทุกๆวันและให้พวกเขาได้พบถึงความสุขในพระเยซูขอพระองค์ทรงอวยพระพรแม่ของเราทุกคนด้วยว่าการเป็นแม่ของเขาจะถวายเกียรติในพระนามของพระองค์ Father we thank you that this morning we can remember to pray for our queen that you bless this country with a king and a queen who is always there by his side to support him all throughout the years and now uh, in her old age we pray for strength and health and uh, your blessing uh, to her and to our present king and To all the royal members, I pray that you would just grant them the wisdom and the strength that they need, so that they would lead this country into the direction that you want this country to be in. And I pray for their salvation. I pray that you would bless this institution to be an example to us. And for this morning, for us to remember also to pray for our mothers. We thank you, Lord, that they have been the guidepost in our family. Uh, with all the responsibilities that you have given to their hands, you know their hardships, you know their burdens, you know their problems, and you know what they go through. We just pray that you would grant them the wisdom that they need, the strength that they need, that you will fill their hearts with love and understanding and your presence, and may they would enjoy you in, to the full, so that they can fulfill and find joy in being a mother, pattern after your love. The unconditional love that only they would receive from you, so that they would in turn also be able to give that love to us, their family, their children, and to their husbands. I pray that they can honor you through their motherhood, and you would be glorified with their lives. This is our prayer, in Christ's name. Amen. เราจะยืนขึ้นนะครับและเราจะทักทายแม่ของเราสุขสันต์วันแม่We would like to welcome our returning visitors. It's not their first time, but we would like to welcome them back. Ate Ruwenano and Ate Marisel. Okay. Uh, and also, um, we have announced this last week. Uh, my cousin is here, Pastor Spencer. And uh, since our special number is very special, uh, we. Ask the visitors to sing for us, so he will be singing to us before uh, the sermon. And also this afternoon, after our deep groups, uh, we'll give the time to him to present their ministry with Stir Asia. He will just present to us what Stir Asia is about. So after our deep groups this afternoon, we'll still have during the Sunday school time. We'll gather here uh, and give him the time to present their ministries with Stir Asia. Uh, please pray for them. Tomorrow they will have a seminar. They they call it Good Soil uh, Ministry. Uh, that is the material that we're using to teach uh, Bible in the Good News English. Uh, they'll have their seminar starting tomorrow night until Wednesday. So also please pray for them as they uh, do the seminar at AIT. Yeah, so turn up. แขกของเรานะครับในวันนี้แล้วก็ไม่ใช่เป็นครั้งแรกของพวกเขาแต่ก็ขอบคุณพระเจ้าที่เขาได้มาในวันนี้อาจารย์สเปนเซอร์นะครับเป็นเป็นลูกพี่ลูกน้องผมไม่ใช่เป็นครั้งแรกของเขาแต่ว่าก็ขอบคุณพระเจ้าที่เขามีโอกาสมาเยี่ยมเราในวันนี้นะครับขอบคุณครอบครัวคนไทยนะครับพี่นัทแล้วก็ครอบครัวแล้วก็ลุงชิมแล้วก็จอยแล้วก็ครอบครัวผมที่ได้เป็นเจ้าภาพของอาหารเที่ยงของเราวันนี้ Uh, we'd like to thank our food sponsor for today and also our uh, cleaners yesterday and for the flower offering. We thank each family for uh, helping out here. Um, I think there is a, an announcement from our Good News English department uh, that uh, by this time, I think uh, last week we had our meeting with the de Deaconess and our Good News English 
reported that we have from eight classes, now we only have five remaining classes, active classes. So that means that we need more students. Uh, and if we need more students, it means that we need more invitations. So our Good News English department is asking all of us if you have uh, co-workers or students who already have a good command of English and want, want, wants to practice their English in the Young Basic or ABC, but those who can already communicate English, but they want to brush up or they want to practice. Uh, so please refer them to Miss Blessy and also we need more uh, facilitators. If you are available, just contact Miss Blessy for that. And we also have our Saturday class uh, at Peanuts House. Uh, I think it's every 3.30 p.m. until 4. Uh, if you also want to join in teaching once a month or twice a month, and if you want to give your time uh, and service in this area, you can also contact uh, Miss Blessy. And our offering this morning, you can still uh, give in two different ways. We can give it through uh, our offering bags here up front, or you can still transfer it through our bank account. I think this is all our announcements for today. Um, before we listen to God's word, we'll give the time to uh, Pastor Spencer for the special number. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for this uh, opportunity to minister to you, to sing. I just want to share that uh, in behalf of my wife, I know my wife has been uh, constantly in some of your prayer requests over uh, her condition last year. And I want to thank you for your prayers. My wife, uh, yesterday was her first year anniversary since she ended her chemotherapy. And she's cancer free for, for a year already. So we praise God for that. And this song is a testament to how God has worked in our lives. Our situations may be great, our problems may be great, it may sound or it may seem insurmountable, but nothing is greater than the grace of God that He has bestowed upon us. So I hope that you'll be encouraged and blessed with the sound. And what do you say to a life of regret 
that's trying so hard to forget what he say to dreams unmet. There is no valley, there is no darkness, there is no sorrow greater than the grace of Jesus. There is no moment, there is no distance, there is no heartbreak He can take you through. And so before you think that you're too lost to save, remember there is nothing So don't lose hope, don't let go, don't give up, you are not alone. There is no valley, there is no darkness, there is no sun. Jesus, oh, there is no moment, there is no distance, there is no heartbreak, He can take you through, so before you think that you're too lost to save, and before you think that you're too lost to save and so before you think that you're too lost to save remember there is nothing greater Morning. Remember that there is no greater than grace. Thank you for that uh, song and also for that the message of that song. Okay, and uh, for this morning, please allow me to extend our uh, Thanksgiving month just this Sunday. Okay, so. For today, uh, break tagamay sa aton nga series of les lesson in the life of uh, Abraham. So last Sunday, uh, during our meeting, uh, Pastor Jeff asked me if uh, I want to preach uh, in the topic of uh, Thanksgiving because uh, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Nimrod, and uh, Elder Joven already shared a uh, message about uh, Thanksgiving. So. He asked me if I want to. So this morning, uh, please open your Bible in the book of Psalms, Psalm 118, for our passage this morning. Psalm 118, we're going to study the whole chapter of this uh, book. And uh, we're going to read only four verses from verse 1 to verse 4. We're going to read this all together. Psalms chapter 18, verses 1 to 4. All together, ready? Begin. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, Let steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His steadfast love endures forever. Let us pray. Father, we're so thankful for this uh, wonderful opportunity that you've given to us to gather in this place purposely, to study your word, to fellowship with one another, to sing songs that can glorify your name. 
and we're asking Lord for the heavenly wisdom as I share this word this morning and don't allow our enemy to distract our main focus our purpose uh, which is to to give glory to your name this is our prayer in just name amen so the title of uh, this message this morning is thankfulness for the Lord's saving goodness so uh, I do believe that the key verse of this chapter is found in in verse 1 and in repeat in is the last verse of sinning a chapter it says here give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever the, 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 the question that always asks to us is, what are we always thankful for? Diba? Permita, ginapamangkot, kung ano gina mga butang dapat natun, or ginapasalamata natun. Oh, we always say that family, diba? Ang good job, ang uh, good church, oh, ang atun nga friends, Oh. And this psalm, Psalms 118, does not name an author in its title. But there is reason to believe that it was King David, that the sweet psalmist of Israel. Oh. Kay Hambal dira sa, sa book of Ezra, chapter 3, verses 10 to 11, it says here that, And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priest and their vestments came forward with the with, with trumpets and the Levites and the sons of Asap with, uh, with symbols to praise the Lord according to the directions of David, king of Israel. And in verse 11, they sang responsibly, praising and giving thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was was laid and this verse suggests that this psalm 118 was sung at the found, founding of the second temple and when they sang it they attributed it to David ngambaldira sa Ezra chapter chapter 10 according to the to the ordinance of David king of of Israel kag si Adam Clark nagagree diri nga ingini nga psalms no uh, uh, ini ang Salmo ni David no? So uh, ang bal ni Rene, Adam Clark Most probably David was the author of the psalm It partakes of David's spirit And everywhere shows the hand of a master The, the, the style is grand and noble The subject majestic no? Ang bal ni, ni Adam Clark Kag si, si Campbell Morgan also agreed That that though this was likely David's psalms, it was also Jesus' psalms. No? This is preeminently the triumph song of the Lord Jesus Christ. He, the ideal servant, he, the perfect priest, and he, the leader of the people. No? How much all these words mean to him as he sang them on that night in the upper in the upper room so this psalm along with 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 psalms 110 is intensely messianic and this is the most quoted by the new new testament and today let us learn from the psalmist what is truly meant to give thanks from our hearts so that we may know how to properly give thanks huh? so as we look at in verses one to four we can see here that the psalmist most likely, as I have said, King David, begins by calling upon all those around him to, to what? To give to God the glory of this goodness. And here, he proclaims that give thanks to the Lord. For he is good, his love endures forever. And in verse 2, let Israel say his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his love endures forever. And let those who fear the Lord say his love endures forever. And King David was a man after God's own heart. And here, 
We can see here that his heart is full of God's goodness. God was on his mind, on his heart, and on his on his tongue, and he felt such a desire, desire to what? To share it with with others. And he wanted God to have the full glory of his praise and for others to be comforted by, by it. And he says that we should give thanks to the Lord. Why? Because he is, he is good. No, sa sinipa lang ang karakter sa ginoo, ang ginoo natin is enough to to what? To receive praises and thanksgiving. He says here that we should give thanks to the Lord for He is He is good. So we can see here that He gave us the reason why we should give thanks to God. But what does it mean that God is good? Uh, what does it mean that God is good? And there, there were plenty of times when evil people were, were, were trying to attack David and even his own son. You see, Absalom, he's attacking his own father, David. So, ang pamangkod rin, was God still good? Many bad things happen in this world. Ba? Pamangkot, is God still good? The answer is resounding yes. Yeah? God is good. 1 John chapter 1, verse 15 says that God is light in Him. There is no darkness at all. And to say that God is good means that God always, always acts in accordance to what is right to what is true and what is just. God's goodness is a part of who God is and He cannot contradict Himself. And there is no evil in Him. And His intentions and motivations are, are, are always, always good. He always does what is right and the outcome of His plan is always always good and his goodness can also be, re, be, be, be related to a sense of pleasantness huh? every day we always eat good meals right such as a nice and juicy satay di ba kita nyo ng mga pink pink umbrella di ba sa higadalan huh? barato lang di ba Huh? Or, or, or witness something uh, so spectacular that it gives us a warm feeling inside. Huh? And afterwards, we, we, we feel good, right? So God gave us the, uh, a similar feelings when he, is, when he is with us. If we are feeling down and need help to get through the day, God is with us. He turns our sadness into a sense of joy and remind us that 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 with him everything will be everything will be all right. And we can continue persevering by his help and because of that we are thankful, no? That God is good and he is deserving of our praises and thanksgiving. Humbles ang isa ka kakilala nga 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 uh, commentator si Lina Drain Spurgeon this is the reason enough for giving him thanks goodness is his essence and nature and therefore he is always to be praised whether we are receiving anything from him or or not and those who only praise God because he does them good should rise to a higher note and give Thanks to Him because He is, He is good. Huh? And ang word dira nga, for His steadfast love endures forever. These sounds begin and ends with this declaration. Huh? 
that his 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 love endures forever it is a statement of fact and of gratitude noting that God's kissed his loyal covenant his his loving kindness will never be taken from his from his people in the psalms this phrase has almost a litur liturgical liturgical quality of it huh? kumbaga ging gamit na ni 34 times and is an uh, and is an appreciative declaration of God's of God's people praising the great loving kindness or the covenant love of of God huh? ang iban nga nga psalms confirm the familiarity of this call to to worship and shows the opportunity it gave to to cantor or to, to the leader or to the soloist and the congregation to rehearse the great act of God together. Uh -huh. Ang word ring uh, endureth or endure has, has been properly supplied by the translators but yet it somewhat restricts the sense which will be better seen if we read it like this for his mercy forever huh? because that mercy had no beginning and shall never know an ending ang ini psalms is the last of the six uh, Egyptian Hallel psalms naging kanta ni Jesus Christ no? as part of the Passover ritual no? When, when Matthew chapter 26, uh, verse 30, and Mark chapter 14, verse 26, tells us that Jesus sang a hymn with his disciples at the Last Supper. No? It refers to this Hallel Psalms. No? So as, as Jesus sang the words of his mercy endures forever, he did it with complete knowledge that the endurance of God's mercy, mercy, would be tested to the utmost in the work to come to the next day at the at the cross. And then Hambal Nyadra, let Israel now say. Uh, so the psalmist invited the people of Israel, the priest of the house of, of Aaron, and even Gentiles who honored God, Hambal Nyadra, those who fear the Lord. To what? To join in the emphatic chorus and his mercy endures forever. No? Three classes are called on. The whole house of Israel, the priest, and those who fear, fear Jehovah. No? And this suggests that the song was written with distinct parts meant for, for, for different groups in the, key, in, the, in, in the congregation. So we can see here the, the, the goodness. We have the reason to thank God because no? of His goodness huh? our first lesson here is we thank God because he is good for his great mercy and deliverance and he deserves he deserves our praise and thanksgiving we thank God because he is good for his great mercy and deliverance and he deserves our praise and thanksgiving Verses 5 to 18. Huh? In these verses, David encourages others to, to trust in God, both from the experience, from the experience he had of God's great power and mercy, and from the kinds of things he had done for, for him. And in and, Hamban and, and my verse 5, out of my distress I called on the Lord the never ending mercy of God was, was, was shown when the Lord answered the singer's cry of distress huh? and God answered by setting the psalmist in the secure broad place where he could confidently stand at many times see, see, see David Ray was in a great distress and anguish no? there were Many people who, who hated him and wanted to harm him. And we see that he was surrounded by the hostile nation, the Philistines, Moabites, 
Syrians, the Amorites. Uh, and he was so distressed about these enemies that, that he repeats in, in, in verses 10 and 11. Makita tadra, they surrounded me. Ang uh, banyadra sa verse 10 and 11. Uh, they surrounded me. All the nations surrounded me. In verse 11, they surrounded me. Surrounded me on every side. Uh, and in verse 6, the Lord is on my side. Ang banyadra ni David. Yes, they surrounded me. But in verse 6, ang banyadra, but the Lord is on my side. The never-ending mercy of God was shown by God's open favor and help to the one who called upon Him. Knowing that God was on His, on his side. Huh? He could live free from the fear of man. Why? Because knowing what can man do to, do to me. Kaya sa last part, dira sang may sang-sang verse 6, in, hamba niya, dira, I will not fear. Huh? He does not say that he should not suffer, but that he would not, hamba niya, he would not fear. So the favor of God infinitely outweighed the hatred of man. Therefore, setting the one against the other, he felt that he had no reason to, to be afraid. Ngaman? Why? Because, sambal dra, the Lord is for me, or the Lord is on my, on my side. Diba? Hundred of years before the book of Romans was written, and sal the psalmist understood the principle of Romans chapter 8, verse 31. No? Ano nga rada sa Romans chapter 8, verse 31? No? If God is for us, who can be against us? So the psalmist had nothing to fear even from those who hated him. Huh? In verse 8, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in in man. Ang psalmist read the balanya that it is uh, uh, the psalmist knew it to be true. No, no doubt learned through the experience of bitter. No? Disappointments. Neither the common man or even princess among men could 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 help the way God can help. And it is better to to trust in in Him in God. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in in man. Kasi for John Dre may mga suggested no mga rason why it is true that we need to put our trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Una, because it is better because it is wiser. Huh? It is better to put our trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man because it is better morally fulfilling the duty of the creatures to the, to the Creator. And it is better because it is safer. Huh? And it is better in its direction. Lifting us up instead of bowing us down. And it is better in its outcome. That's why Hambanyadri, it is better to put uh, to, to put our trust in the Lord than to put conf confidence in and man. And even Jesus knew this by his own experience as 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 each of his disciples uh, forsook him at the cross. And even uh, leaders who were sympathetic to him, such as Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, no? they did not give their help to Jesus during his suffering and crucifixion. And in verse 9, Hambal no? Nidra, done to put confidence in, in princes. Men of high estates are generally proud. No? Vain, glorious, self-confidence, and rush. Uh, and it is better to trust in God than in, in them. Often, they cannot deliver and often they will not when they can. And however, in the concern of our salvation and in the, in, in the matter which belongs to, 
providence they can do nothing oh. however even though he was surrounded the lord helped him and provided him strength and he says and repeats silingadri but in the name of the lord i cut them i cut them down oh. they swarm around him like like bees oh. So the bees were buzzing and their numbers were so numerous, so noisy and so vexing. No? They came at him with stingers ready and, and, and armed, but it was to their own destruction. No? Just as bees lose their life with their sting, so did these enemies. They were confused in a fire as, as, as quickly as burning thorns. And the Lord protected him and allowed him to cut down his, his enemies. And we can see here that the Lord protects those who trust in him and call upon his name. And we'll always remember this during times of, of struggle. That let us call out to our Lord and Savior and he will deliver us. And we can see here that David also faced many troubles. First, he was brought into a trouble by his injuries that men did to him, to him. Look at verse 13. I was published hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. No? He was accosted on many sides, pushed back and about to, to fail. The devil is the great adversary no? who tried to push us to failure by his temptations to cast us down from our relationship with God and, 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 and from the comfort that we find in, 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 in our Savior. Eh? He can do this in many ways. He can do this by planning doubt in our minds about, about, about God. No? And when we are going through difficult times, no, he can tell us that God is not with us or that God has abandoned us. And David probably felt this temptation when he was no, chased by, 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 by King Saul. And the devil can also try to convince us that a small sin here and there is no big deal. No, what harm will one little lie down? No? What harm will one little lie do? But these small sins, well, they seem harmless at first. No? Remember, can lead to bad habits, which in turn hurt those around us and estrange us even more from our Heavenly Father. So these are just a few of the ways that the devil attempts to lead us astray sa atong niya Savior, sa atong niya Gino. And, and, and there are many more. No? How are we able to overcome this? Verse 14. Humble there's my verse 14. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my, my salvation. And David describes how God becomes his strength and defense and has become his salvation and we are not able to defeat the devil by ourselves and, and overcome his temptation and assaults but with the help of, of God we are strong enough to, to overcome in the name of the Lord no? that's my verse, verse 11 in the name of the Lord I will destroy them the psalmist understood that the power for victory was not in him but only in the name of of God he would be rescued as the Lord helped him and in verse 14 the Lord is my strength and my song oh. Exodus chapter 15 verse 2 says and the Lord is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation and this is my God and I will praise him my father's God and I will exalt, exalt him. So the singer knew not only that God could bring strength and a song, but that Yahweh himself became their strength and the song of those who put their trust in, in him. Going even further, the psalmist understood that Yahweh had become his salvation 
and Yahweh is these things for his for his people. So when the Lord is our strength, no, it means that he is our resource and our refuge and we look to him for our needs and we are never satisfied. So when the Lord is our song, it means that he is our joy and our happiness and we find our purpose and life in him and he never disappoints. And when the Lord is our salvation, it means we put our trust for help and deliverance in another, and He is our rest and rescue. And, and with all this true, it emphasizes the importance of seeking God Himself when we need strength, a song, or salvation. Often, we, we seek the things by our own selves, and sometimes as even detached from from, from, from God Himself. And to seek God and to receive Him is to receive all these profound gifts. No? Siling din ni Plummer. Good songs, good promises, good proverbs, good doctrines are none the worst for age. What was sung just after the passage of the Red Sea is here sung by the prophet and shall be sung of the end of the world by the saints of the most the most high so ang next ng lesson natin dire is we thank God who comes to our defense and is our salvation we thank God who comes to our defense and is our salvation salvation next the second here we was brought into trouble by the dis by the discipline of of God huh? kung kagina David also faced many troubles. O nakagina, he was brought into trouble by the injuries that men did to him. And the second here is he was brought into trouble by the discipline of, of God. Oh, verse 18. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but he has not given me over to, to death. Oh, this, this, this trouble is different from that, from, from that brought by the devil. Oh. This trouble comes from, from God. However, unlike the devil who, who, who seeks to bring destruction upon us, ang, 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 ang pagdisiplina dris ang ginoo is for his own instruction. Huh? While the devil attacks us with the anger and hatred of our enemies, the Lord's discipline naman sa aton with the love and tenderness of a father. So in the end, he will not hand us over to death but will give us life no? god can discipline us in various ways no? so when we lose our job and are unsure of our next meal the lord may be disciplining us to depend on him no? when we are proud and think that we don't need god the lord may discipline us to make us Make us humble. No? When, we get, when we get lazy, no? the Lord may discipline us to work hard. No? But even though this trial seems difficult and we think that we cannot overcome, we'll always remember that the Lord is still with, with us. No? Just as the Lord did not abandon David, so too will He not abandon us. No? He will not give us anything that we cannot handle. No? And we will not be handed over to, to death. In the end, we will be given life and, and victory. So as David says in verse 17, no? verse 17, I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord, when we live and go through these troubling times, we should proclaim what the Lord has done for us with a thankful heart. For He is doing it for our betterment with the heart of a loving, a loving Father. Our next lesson here is we thank God for the love He has shown us and for bringing us closer to Him through His discipline. Oh. We thank God for the love He has shown us and for bringing us closer to Him through His 
discipline. Verses 19 and 20. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. And this is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through, through it. In this verse, in these verses, he's turning from addressing the audience to addressing God. No? And David prays uh, for God to open the gates of righteousness so that he may enter and give thanks to, to the Lord. What are these gates of righteousness? No? In the old days, no, to, to enter a city, you must enter through the gates. Yeah? And here, the city can be referencing heaven or, or, or the new Jerusalem. And in this city where God dwells and where there is no death or toil or, or, or pain. And God is... Uh, the king of this city and, 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 and all those who abide they rejoice in the glory and majesty of our Lord and, and creator and this city sounds like a place where we all want to go diba? well there's only one problem no, isang problema there is the only the, the, the only entrance into this city is through its sole gate no? the gates of righteousness Ang ining gate has been stumbling block no sa kadamaan for 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 many since the fall of Adam this gate has been closed to us diba? and only the righteous are allowed no admittance but because of our sin we had been barred entry no so the wall of this city are very large no in fact, they are miles high and you cannot scale them. The walls are hundreds of feet, no? In Kadamulonia, so you cannot go through them. And the only way in this, through its gate, which is close to us, is no? in, in, in order to enter sa sinang gates of righteousness, eh? Kinanglang aton nga sin must be blotted out and cleansed, no? So we need someone or something to save us from, from our sins. In verse 21, David mentioned a salvation that has come, who, who cleanses us and allows us admittance into the city through the gate. No, there's my verse 21. And I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. I will praise you. No? Having passed into the holy city, the singer openly praised God for the answered and the salvation previously mentioned in, in, in the Psalms. And in verses 22 to 23, David prophesies about this Savior. Oh. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone and the Lord has done it this very day. And let us rejoice to the end and be glad. Huh? the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone this is the Lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes and this is the day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad be glad in it and word has become the chief cornerstone this was also most certainly true no? fulfilled in Jesus and we see here that even though the religious leaders no muna ang ginaminidra nga the builders no mga religious leaders of these days rejected him that God established Jesus as the chief cornerstone of his gate plan and his, his great plan of the age of the ages that all things would be founded and fulfilled in in him hambalira this savior would be humiliated he would be despised and rejected by the builders and he would be a stone not only for strength and duration but for for life and he would be the precious stone for the foundation of of the church and it is hard to imagine no jesus singing this song in the night before his great rejection no? leading to his suffering and crucifixion without tears in his eyes imagine no kinakanta niya ni kanta 
leading to his suffering and crucifixion without tears in his eyes. He would be rejected and he would become the chief cornerstone. But even though people rejected him, he would be exalted. He would become the chief cornerstone in the foundation in whom both the Jews and the Gentiles are united under his, his name. And God would exalt him because he humbled him himself. In verse 23, ang word dira, ang praise dira, this was the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Now, ang psalmist spoke here on behalf of those redeemed by the Lord and whose life and future is built upon this chief cornerstone. They, re they, they rejoice in God's marvelous work uh, despite the rejection of, of the builders. You can see there that ang phrase dira, this is the Lord's doing. No? The exaltation of Jesus from the cross to the resurrection to the right hand of God on high is the work of God alone. Who lifted Jesus high again and exalting Him no? above all. And it's not the religious leader no? ang nag lift high sa kay Jesus Christ. Not the religious leader. Why? Because they rejected Him. Or not the Roman leaders. Nga man, because they crucified Jesus Christ. Not the Jews, or, or the, the Jewish multitudes. Nga man, because they chose another. No? And not the disciples, not even the disciples. Because they cowered in fear. And not his influential followers, nga man, because they buried him. And not the devoted women, nga man, because they were beset by grief. Sino lang? No? Only God the Father himself could lift Jesus high. So when would God do this? When would God send his Savior to allow us enter through this gate? Verse 24, he says, This is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. When Jesus quoted Psalms 118, verse 22, oh, in Matthew chapter 21, verse 42, and Mark chapter 12, verses 10 and 11, and also in Luke chapter 20, verse 17, he did so in, in, in response to the praise and, 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 and Hosannas given to him at what? is commonly called the triumphal entry no since this psalm is prophetical connected with that with with that event the day mentioned here can be be prophetically understood as the day jesus formally entered jerusalem jerusalem as messiah and as the king so david calls everyone to rejoice and be glad because the lord has done it in this very in this very day this Savior is here. Oh, humble you three. In verses 26 and 27, Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. In verse 27, The Lord is, is, is God and He has made His light to shine upon us. Bind the festal sacrifice with cords up to the th horns of the altar. This Savior comes in the name of the Lord our of our God. He comes from God Himself with branches in hand and we are called to join the festal procession up to the horns of the, of the altars. So who is this Savior? Who is worthy of all this and who lets us through, through that gate? So the answer is Jesus, our Savior. Jesus is the gate to heaven. No? He is the only way no? by whom and by whom only the righteous shall enter and be welcome into God's, God's kingdom. Humbly Jesus Christ in John 14, 6. No? I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except, except through, through me. And he said again in John chapter 10, verse 9, I am the gate whoever enters through me will be will be saved and they will come. They will come in and go out and find 
posture. Huh? So in His goodness and enduring love, God sent Jesus to die on the cross for, for our sins. And by this sacrifice and blood poured out at the horns of the altar, we have all been, been saved. So our sins no longer prohibited us to enter from the city. And Jesus' blood washed us clean and allows us to enter in that city. And we will come in and go out and find pasture. This pasture is a beautiful place. No? In it, we will find peace from our restlessness, true love from our Father, and pure happiness from the one who fulfilled us. Jesus is the way. No? The only way to get there. The devil may still try to lead us astray, but his efforts are in vain. And this day is numbered. No? And Jesus has overcome him. And when he is with us, we have nothing. We have nothing to, to fear. No? David, David was so overjoyed at the gate which had been closed for so long, was now opened, and he calls us to give thanks for God's answered him. The Lord has become his salvation. And just like David, we should long to enter through these gates so that we may dwell in God's, in God's house. And we should rejoice and thank God from our hearts for Jesus, who is our Savior and who opened the gates of righteousness for, for us. And we are welcome into his kingdom where the love of Christ will flow in us and we will celebrate with not just the Israelites or the house of Aaron, but with all those who fear the Lord in the, gate, in the great thanksgiving that is to come. And let the name of our Lord Jesus be praised forever and ever. And then the last verse, look at verses 28 and 29. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. forever. So David here concludes by saying, You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. This Psalms began with, exuberant and heartfelt praise and it ends with the same uh, recognizing once again the the goodness of god at the end of it all so if we start with praise we are in a much better position to end with praise no despite all we go through no sa atang kabuhi notice dira ang word ni you no he has changed from referencing God in the third person to the second person. So he says that you are my God and I will praise you. And you are my God and I will exalt you. With everything David had done through, God was always there for, for him. And David accepted the Almighty God as his, as his God. So in the same way, Jesus is our God and we should praise Him. And He is our God and we should exalt Him. No? He has shed His blood for us to save us. And He is our Creator, our Messiah, our Redeemer, and our, and our friend. In our times of trouble, He will protect and deliver us. And He is one whom we depend on and to whom we are devoted, who owns us and who loves us. He is good, for He opened the gates of righteousness, and He is deserving all our praises and give thanks to Jesus, for He is good. His love endures forever. Ang last natin yung lesson diri is, we thank God for opening the gates of righteousness and giving us life through, through Jesus Christ. We thank God for opening the gate of righteousness and giving us life through, through Jesus so, from David, we have learned a proper way to give thanks. Now, first, David started by thanking God for his mercy. And God showed mercy on him by not handling him over to, to death. 
And then the next one here is, he thanked and acknowledged God for delivering him and protecting him from the hand of his enemy. And the third is, he thanked God for or disciplining him, for bringing him closer to God through his, through his discipline. And lastly, he thanked God for opening the gates of righteousness and giving him life through through Jesus Christ. So when writing this, uh, when I study this message uh, and learn about the heart of thankfulness from David, uh, I felt ashamed. Uh, and there are many times in my life that I take for granted what God has done for me. Uh, uh, he blessed me with such a wonderful family. Uh, even though I grew up in a broken family, but I'm blessed to have them. Uh, I'm so thankful with, with, with my, my family, uh, my, my stepfather and with my half-brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm so thankful with, with, with my family. And he also blessed me with a wonderful wife. Uh, plus points now. And he blessed me with, with wonderful friends. Uh, and he blessed me with a wonderful church family to support me or to support us. And he blessed me to have a, a good job uh, here. And many times I, I take for granted what God has done for me because I always forget His, His goodness. Uh, uh, His goodness in my life. I think the the enemy of thankfulness is forgetfulness. Oh, so do uh, amugini ang kontra sang thankfulness kisa ang aton gid nga pagkamalilipaton. No. The enemy of thankfulness is forgetfulness. Throughout all those troubling times, God was always there. God was always there for me. Oh, but in the end, the thing that I am most thankful for is that God sent His one and only Son, uh, Jesus Christ, to, to save me. Uh, I have sinned many times in my life, and I continue to sin every day, and every day is a struggle for me. Uh, the devil tempts me, and sometimes I, I, I falter, uh, and I forget to trust in God, and I forget His, His, His word. No. But, but even though I forget, no, our loving God, our good God never, never, never forgets. Uh, through His mercy, Christ has saved me and opened the gates of righteousness so that I may enter. No. And I am undeserving no, of the grace and that mercy. No. And the love he's shown to me every day. No? Like a father who loves their child and wants them to succeed. So the Lord is ever patient with, with me. So let us give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ. For he is good and his love endures forever. Let us pray. Father, we're so thankful for reminding us through this uh, passage that you uh, shared to us this morning. Continue to be with us, guide us. Sometimes we tend to forget your goodness in our lives. And uh, thank you for allowing us to ponder upon this word, Father God. And may this word be going to apply it in our daily lives. And this is our prayer, thanksgiving our heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Shall stand please and let us sing our thanksgiving song. My heart is filled with thankfulness. So I have the wrong thing. 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 I have the wrong thing.
ที่ในความดีของพระองค์เราจะหมดสาเหตุในการขอพระคุณไม่ได้เพราะความรักเมตตาของพระองค์จะดำรงเป็นนิดมีให้กับเราตั้งแต่วันแรกที่เรามารู้จักกับพระองค์จนถึงทุกวันนี้จนถึงเราจะหมดสิ้นลมหายใจชั่วนิรันดร์พระองค์ก็ยังสัตย์ชื่อขอบคุณพระองค์ในความสัตย์ชื่อนี้ได้ส่งพระบุตรองค์เดียวของพระองค์เพื่อเปิดประตูแห่งความชอบธรรมให้เราเข้าสู่แผ่นดินของพระองค์ให้เรามีความสุขกับพระองค์ชั่วนิรันดร์และด้วยสาเหตุนี้เราจะสรรเสริญและขอบพระคุณพระองค์ร่วมกันขอบคุณพระเจ้าสำหรับพระพรแห่งการนมัสก,การนี้ในเช้าวันนี้และโอกาสที่เราสามารถสรรเสริญยกย่องพระเจ้าของเราพระผู้ช่วยให้รอดของเรา Father we thank you that in your goodness we will never run out of reasons to praise you and to thank you your steadfast love endures for us since the first day that we have known you it continues to endure For us today, and until our last breath, to all eternity, we will still be faithful. So, Lord, we praise you and we thank you that you have given us your Son, that through Him you have opened the gates of righteousness into your kingdom, so that in your presence forevermore we can praise you and proclaim your goodness, and to be thankful for who you are. Every day in our lives, we thank you for the blessing of this worship and this fellowship, the blessing of your word, and the blessing of being able to proclaim your praises. For you deserve this. With the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Good morning, everyone. We got this.